Hey, hey, welcome back to The Infected, everybody. GMO here. And today, like I said we were going to do on the last episode, we are going to... This episode should be called The Pig Out Episode. <laughs> um, just before you guys came on, as you can see my stats on the bottom right, we are hungry. Well, we have actually three fridges full. Of veggie salads. Um, our current stats are health is 138. Well, our stam is down right now. Uh, I think it was supposed to be 137. And our thirst is 139. Well, that is about to change drastically. Because we are going to eat every last can Oh, here, let me put away this weapon. All oh, the doors are closed, right? Yeah. I've been closing the doors because we've been getting random vamp attacks hitting the gates. But I want to see if eating 24, 60 cans of veggie salad on how high we can get our stats. Now, um, let me check my notes here real quick on what the veggie salad actually gives us. Um... I got notes on every everything. Veggie salad's supposed to give us 0 0.05 health and 0 0.05 sun resistance. Right now our sun resistance is 116. So let's see how high we can get our health with eating 60 cans of veggie salad. I mean, you might think that's a waste because the food, but with the two gardens, it grows pretty quick. And we also have all those MREs. So here goes. And as you see, our health is going up. And we are getting thirsty because this does take away some of our thirst. Oh, I have no water on me. Hang on. I'll take a drink of water real quick. Yeah, I have quite a few water containers. I made a few because I knew we were going to get thirsty. And it's strictly aluminum. For making a water. There's one. We're at 139. Now we're completely reset now. So let's see where we can get with the other 20, 40, 63 cans. Well, besides our water continually going down. <laughs> I guarantee you there's no other YouTuber out there attempting this. Okay, so it does take 10 cans to get you halfway. So 20 cans per point. So it'll give us... Wait a minute, what would we get to one point on? Oh, probably sun resistance. Okay, that's one fridge empty. Wow. So sun resistance should go up three, and our health should go up three. There goes our health again, 140. Oh, and we're thirsty again. I should have made some veggie sa or some fruit salads to go along with it. Yeah, and that one's empty. Actually, we'll throw that one in our inventory. We'll refill that one afterwards. Actually, I should have thrown a couple of them in their inventory. You know, that's a good idea. Before I continue, throw that one back in there. That was the empty one? Yeah, give us a couple full ones. That's why we don't have to keep stopping. We just keep on eating. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I, I, I would love if this stayed for a long time and we didn't have to worry about it. I can't believe that this is actually episode 99. 
that have done 99 episodes on this. You know, I tried once before with putting this series out, and I really didn't get that many people watching it. So I really want to thank all of you guys that are continually watching my series. I really do appreciate every last one of you guys. 141 on health. Oh, my. 118 on sun resistance. We're going to need that come summer. We're just chowing away. Sun resistance about to go up again. Now there's nothing that... Oh, there's sun resistance. 119 in our last can. Okay, that was an awful lot of cans. <laughs> oh, and we're, we are dying of thirst. Look at that. Everything's full health. Our energy is going to go start climbing back up. Now, there's nothing really that'll make us climb. Actually, the potato pie is point. Oh, no, it's sun resistance. Nothing is higher than 0 0.05, except for the MREs. MREs are really not that hard to make. We would actually have to go over to Gator Lake and do a lot of hunting at Gator Lake. Because the the rations are 0 0.5. 0 0.5 health, 0 0.5 stam, 0 0.5 thirst, and 0 0.1 sun resistance for the MREs. The fruit salads are 0 0.05 stamina and 0 0.05 thirst. Meat stews, if we cook the meat stews, it's... Oh, the meat stews are 0 0.5 um, health. So if we just did meat stews instead of making the rations, but... If you got meat stews, you might as well make the rations because it's not much different. You just have to add the melons. All right, that was fun. And now look at all the cans we got, which I was prepared for that. This empty box here, that is our new can box because there is no cans left upstairs. I took all the cans down from upstairs, and I had to make... 20 more cans. And to tell you the truth, I had no plans for this episode. So we're just going to wing it. What are we in? We are in March. We are spring. That's why I can hear. Oh, and it's nighttime. Oh, look. The ground is no longer snow. And you know what that means? It means the bears are out. You know what we could do, though? Um, we can refill these back up for one thing. That one's two. Oh, those are both two. We can grab all these. Well, can we hold all them? Yes, we can. Um, stoves are pretty much set. We can grab all the onions real quick because we have empty fridges. Why waste the power? Don't tell me you guys are set. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I just emptied all you guys. We can grab every onion we have in the house and make some onion soups. Just because. Because the onion soup... Oh, where's you? oh, there's my list. The onion soup only gives us 0. 0.3 to our thirst. So, I mean, it's not really going to give us much benefit, but... Oh, actually, and we don't have the bowls for it. We can make bowls. Or worst case scenario, we just throw it in the fridge, the onions in the fridge. So I think we have some onions up here, too. We'll just throw them in the fridge for the time being. Since it is spring, we do need some wool. Or, yeah, wool, not fur. 
I don't know why I keep saying fur. I'm thinking of another game. What time is it? 1 a.m. We don't even need to take a nap. I don't want to take a nap. We're going to grab the rest of these onions. No, we'll leave those onions up here. I think we need those for meat stews. We'll leave these onions. Oh, I thought it was Vambi. We'll leave these onions in here. And we are going to... Oh, I think we might have to make us a new meat stew because that guy is just cruising for a bruising out there. Unfortunately, you guys can't hear it. Or fortunately for you, you guys can't hear it. Um, and since these are all full, let me get these out of my inventory. Actually, we should slaughter that last bear because it is that time of year where we're going to get, and I don't need to really carry all these. Let's go ahead and get that bear in here. Oh, we got the wolf. You know what, wolf? It's time. I'm sorry, buddy, because we're going to be looking for sheep soon. So it's time to say goodbye to you. And we need to put, oh, uh, you know what? We think we had another one in here, didn't we? Yep, we'll store you in here. Wow, you didn't get much for the for that. Store you in here. We only got two eggs left. And then we'll get you on here. Not that we really need the dehydrated meat. We got that bear that we can do. I guess this is going to be a foodie day. Because I might have to grab the bow and get that deer done. There's another thing I wouldn't mind trying. Is there used to be an old trick about... Uh, I want to see where that deer is at first. That... Was that him over there? Or Stump? For, uh, if it seems a little glitchy, I got something else running in the background, by the way. Um, for Horde Knight, for making a floating base. I know I got the Horde off right now because we were doing all the building in that. Plus, the Horde just seems too simple nowadays. Um, but I want to try it again to see if it still works. Uh oh. Oh, I was going to say, I just froze. I was still in the sink. And I want to see if they fixed it. It was from a long, long time ago. There was this little trick that you used to be able to do to trick the horde. And I think it still works. And we'll see. It might, might not. Who knows? All right. Uh, is that box still here? Arrows and hide. Yeah, we still got hide in here. Wait a minute. Didn't I take all the hide over to the other base? Um, get rid of these nails. We don't need them anymore. Wait a minute. What's wrong? Why? Oh, yeah, hit the right button. We don't want to put one at a time. We want to put them all. Okay, uh, upstairs. Wow, I'm really losing focus here. And we put the liver and the meats. We're going to have to find some chicken soon. We need some chickens. Oh, yeah. See, that's the difference, too. If we just made the meat stew, we didn't need the chicken. Whoops. That's right. Probably don't have a spot for you anyways, meat. You can just sit there and rot on the floor. All right, moo, moo deer. I hear you. All that funky noise you make. And I still haven't figured out the audio, which I'm very sorry for. 
I gotta get somebody over here to figure this out because it's really driving me nuts that the audio does not come through on my recordings which you guys should be thankful for because these deer that sound like a cow are, I mean it's sort of hilarious in a way oh wow we have enough room to slaughter some more not that we really need to because we have more than enough dehydrated meat over here this box should be full still and I think I was where was I throwing the other ones oh I got some over here which we really don't need to eat those are stats are oh, you know what? yeah I'll have some chow ain't gonna hurt us that doesn't make any of our stats move up eating this does it if it does I just start pigging out on this Besides making us thirsty. Okay. Um, yeah, I should nap until morning we can see. Oh, crap. All right, let's go get some potatoes. Oh, we got taters up there. You notice on the bottom uh, left-hand side of the screen, I'm poisoned. Because... I forgot to wash my hands. So now I have to eat a potato. Oh, you know what? Uh, I got first aid kits. I think that'll work too. Nope, first aid kit don't work. Get a potato. I didn't use all the potatoes up. Now, is that weird or what? You have to, if, if you get uh, poisoned, you have to eat a potato. I got food poisoning from eating something with bloody hands. Uh, sort of potato in the fridge. We got one spare potato. We can use it for something. Now I got to go kill that deer before he drives me nuts. Hi, right, dear. Well, oh, you're stuck right there. You outrun me? I ain't got my bow on me. Yep. At least I got rid of you. Your mooing was driving me up a wall. Hey, buddy. Yep, I heard you die out here. I should have put my bow on. I could have shot him through the fence. Oh. My sanity is coming back. <laughs> Let's get this out of here. All right. Park you over here next to the garden. We only got one over here. Uh, was there anything? No, there's nothing in that one. Uh, you guys are probably out of fuel. Oh, you're full. Good. We're going to need to make bowls soon. Um, I don't feel like doing it right now. I'll do that at a later time. Uh, that's full of coal. That's got a little steel in it. We got four bowls and two pans. What else do we got in here? I really should make some first aid stuff. I'd have to look it back up again. Oh man, we got no oil. That's right. How's our oil situation cooking? Eh, we're at 30. That's all right. It'll be good. And oh, I just checked you guys. I don't have any gas made in here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and make some spare gas real quick. I go ahead and take the oil out of here because I don't know if we have spare gas or not. And luckily this guy, well, I'm not going to take a chance on losing gas or losing oil. I can't remember if he takes five. Yep, he takes five. And this is how we get our gas cans for the truck. 
Okay, and then he needs some fuel. Um, let's see. Oh, we used all of our firewood, didn't we? Yeah, we just take some of this. I could have stuck coal in there too. Any kind of fuel works. Uh, let's see, how about five of them? Nope, five of them's not enough. Ten? Yeah, it should be enough. Eh, you get a last stick too. How's that sound? All right, that should be enough to make us a can of fuel. Uh, let's. Cause I know the, the truck was starting to get a little low. I can leave that open. Oh no, no, no! Put your weapon out. I don't trust these vambies anymore. But look at our beautiful lights. I am just so amazed at that. Okay, uh, this is the truck one. Oh, we do have a spare can of fuel. <gasps> Chickens. Where is that mother clucker? <laughs> little pun on words. Come on, I want to get on the fence. Not off the fence, on the fence. I don't hear him anymore anyway, she's on this side. Do we really want to run around in the dark? Bad thing is, is I can spot these things really easy when I'm, I put it into the editing software. But when I'm in game, I cannot see them worth a darn. Okay. Oh, man, coming down here is a bummer. Oh. All right, what do we got going on in here today? Um, oh, yeah, that was a glass we were going to do. You know what? Get that glass out of here because that's going to be going back in. I hear you, chicken. You I definitely want because we're low on eggs. Ration packs are good because I would like to see us hit at least 150. I'd like to see 175 health. Actually, we need to make a lot of those pans. Those bowls. All right, chicken. There. Oh, that, uh, that little dot that's in the middle of the screen is uh, lit up on the edge of that shelf. And I went, oh, there's the chicken. Yeah, he's got to be out there. I could take a chance on jumping out there. I got full energy. I'm a badass. I could kill the Vambies, the bears, and even the chickens. He's oh, he's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, he's got to be right next to me by the sound of him. Is that a bird or a chicken? Why is there a dead Bambi over there? There he is. He was just chilling out on the lake. Okay. Oh, onions are out. Oh, good. Got me an onion. Got me an onion. Free onions. I won't complain. Okay. Uh, we're putting onions in here. Mr. Onion. Um, and we'll put eggs in here for right now. Because I'd like to start making... Oh, I got two eggs upstairs. And I got a place for chicken, too. Chicken can be stored in here. This is where I've been storing all my chicken. Um, I can store this extra onion seed in here, too. And the feathers. 
Um, yeah, you see all the extra seeds I stored in there. Should make some biofuel. And, yeah, maybe I'll do a mine run. I don't know. We got, could use some stone. No. I think that's what, yeah, this is all frags in here. This is all iron over here now. Every one of these boxes are iron. So in case we ever need iron, well, if we want to fill shelves, I mean, there's nothing we really need to make anymore. Oh, uh, what was this box? I don't know. I put a box over here for something. I can't remember what anymore. And this, yeah, I just harvested this probably about five minutes before starting this episode. This stuff really grows quick. I think when I harvest that again, we'll plant something else. I thought that was a potato. We'll take that. I love the beginning of spring. Uh, where would we put that potato? In here. Because I think what I might do is make a lot of potato paste. That's why I was saying we uh, need to make a bunch of clay and then make a bunch of bowls. Eh, put another empty here for bowls. So, Because I don't think we have potato paste. And we got 11 of them. Because I don't think, does potato paste? No. It doesn't have any kind of benefit except for um, give, building our sun resistance back up. All right, it's becoming light. Let's go look for some sheep. Uh, okay, how's our axe look? Axe is good. Our spear is good. Close this just in case Vambies do get in. Let's take our box. Yeah, we got some first aid in there. Do we hit? Uh, make sure we have water on us. That's full. No, not quite, but it should do. R wrong one. And, uh, and the funny thing is that lantern is now floating. It's part of the strange mechanics in this game. And I just want to make this sort of neat. Just in case we do decide to go past one of the mines. Uh, we're not going to mine. We're, we are going for... Uh, thing. I'm going to grab another water. Just in case. Water and an MRE. Because we are not coming back without sheep. We have to finish our... Uh, we'll take a stack of them. Uh, get rid of the onion seed. And uh, get rid of the oil. We have to finish our upstairs. Our living quarters. Um, close this door too. See how paranoid I am? And yes, in real life I'm paranoid. For the people who uh, actually know me, they'd say, oh, hell yeah, that guy's paranoid. Oh, water. You never sneak up on me. <laughs> All right, put that down there. Take a good swig out of that and then refill it. Okay, we are good to go. All right, we're off to go to the desert to kill some cute little sheep. Poor sheep. They have no idea what's coming for them. Yeah, I'm glad we grabbed that gas can. We got almost quarter tank gas left. All right, you guys ready to go four-wheeling? Flip over the truck a couple times. Let's see if we can aggravate my PTSD. Oh, man, it started already. <laughs> Yeehaw! Oh, those trees haven't come back yet. The bummer is there's nothing in the tailgate. So, you figure we should be able to, oh, it breaks, it breaks, where are we going? We should be able to carry a whole bunch of them. Um, 
Yeah, we're going. Okay, it's like when we're going to the mine. We should be able to throw a whole bunch of them back there. Actually, what I should have did was grab a bunch of metal ingots. Uh, yeah, I should have. Because then we could have made a table and just slaughtered them. Yeah, well. We only need a little bit of wool anyways. I don't even know if they're out yet, if the season is right. All right, I hear something running. Might be a deer, could be a bear. That's a deer. Okay, where are we at? No, we got to go further down and make a right. I think it's the desert over there. There's a raccoon, I hear. We don't want them. I think we might need two of them. So we have enough wool for the uh, rug. Oh, what is that to our right? Or is that just a bird? Nope, that's just a dot in the middle of my screen. Oh, that dot can be annoying. Oh, and this thing's getting harder to drive at this speed. Oh, brake, 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 brake. Okay. Now that I'm starting to get decent driving with the truck. Oh, we're going through the town. Come on, Van, be getting the street. I want to see if I can run you over. Bad Vambies. Okay. This is the desert area coming up. Wish we had binoculars in this game. All right, just make sure. All right, we'll go to the right. I'm trying to avoid the rocks. We'll get out right here here for the cucumbers. A little extra snack. Got to have our morning snack. I don't even hear anything. I'm waiting to hear that. Uh, might as well have my morning snack. As long as I don't hear your wolf come up and bite me in the butt. A little vitamin gives us a little bit of water, too. And I wonder if I keep this out when I get out of the truck, it's out. Okay, let's go see what we can find. There's a pumpkin out. Oh, did we circle back around to the road, or is this another road? Oh, we circled back around to the road. No, we got to turn it around. Well, maybe we'll just look on this side. So it'd be a challenging area for a base. Trees are limited, a lot of stone. Yeah, 
taking myself back to the road. I don't want to be on the road. I want to be off-roading. Well, there's a lake. I didn't know there was a lake here. Well, no, 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 no. We don't want to be stuck on a tree, and we don't want to end up in the lake. I don't hear no sheep. I don't hear no wildlife at all. All I hear is a thunderstorm now. Oh, that's a bird. Well, the one good thing out here is you can drive around through the wilderness. Maybe it's the darker area. But there should have been something over here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We're going to get between these two trees? Yeah. Come on, I don't want to get out and chop trees. The search for the ever-elusive sheep. All right, where's the road? We'll go to the darker area. Should be straight ahead. Wait a minute. Am I going backwards? No, it should be this way. But it looks like that way is the water. I ain't going in the water. Oh, uh, uh, famous last words. You want to learn how to drive it? Drive it through the trees. Oh, that just turned me around. Not that I wasn't turned around in the first place. I think it's up here. Should be the road. Okay, it should have been. No, I just went the opposite way. Okay, on star, which way do I go? I got to turn around. All right, make sure I'm facing the right way. Yeah, that's the way I want to go. And I would say go straight, but... Uh, the trees sort of stop you from going straight. And I haven't heard one animal yet. Are we having fun yet? All right, we're on top of the hill. Which way? We're almost at the road. Oh, 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 stop, 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 bag up, bag up, bag up, bag up, bag up. 
I see a cliff. I see the road. I see the road. Okay, which way we want to go? We want to go to the left. We're going to go to the dark, dark dirt. Maybe the sheep's over there. Ooh, that looked like a steep cliff. Because I didn't see any sheep. Didn't hear any sheep. Didn't even hear the goats. Come on, Vambi, be in the road. I wish I would have did this the one time on camera. Oh, he wasn't in the road. I'm tempted to come back around and hit him. He literally bounced off the front of the truck, and you've seen him fly when I did it before. But they did do... Oh, oh, oh. They did do a few changes, though, because you used to be able to hit a uh, deer. You hit him once, and you kill him. Not anymore. The deer almost flipped me over last time. Okay, I know this area we usually find the pigs. Because we find them on the way to Cobalt. This is the darker area. Now to the right, it's really dark. Let's see, maybe we find sheep. I hope this trip isn't going to be a bust. They did say that the animal spawns were going to be scarce. And I know this area's got wolves. Actually, this looks like a pretty cool area for a base. It's not flat, but I don't think that matters. Yeah, I'm just wondering if maybe they're not spawned in yet. Oh, that's a fox. Second lunch. Maybe it's just that I'm not in the area long enough for anything to spawn. Wow, do we go deep? Well, I guess we'll keep driving. This is the driving adventure episode. And you guys get to see what the rest of the map look like. Me too, because I've never been through here. I don't think most of the... Uh, 
Most people don't. And there is the ocean right there. There. You guys can't say I didn't take you to the beach. Oh, and it's still frozen. Oh, man, we should have did that. We should have took the truck over here in the middle of winter and see how far we could drive out on the ocean with a bunch of lumber and built our own little ocean base. Oh, that would have been awesome. We could have built an ocean base out there. Oh, you know what? If I do another playthrough on that, we're definitely going to have to do that in the wintertime. Because we'll, t we'll have to do that. Because you figure any one of these areas, that would be so cool. And at least we'd have water. Actually, this area wouldn't really be too bad for a base. There's plenty of trees. I don't see any wildlife. I think meat would be our only factor here. We'd, we'd be relying on the garden completely. We would definitely have to have a uh, outpost at Crock Lake for meat. Well, what road is this? That's uh, over there. And yeah, we'll hook to the right on the road. We'll just take ourselves a nice little cruise. Today's cruising day. I guess most of the time we find them on the road. Thought maybe off-roading we'd find them better. Is that a chicken? Oh man, it's not out. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, chicken? That's well, a raccoon. I don't care about the raccoon. You give me eggs. Well, wasn't a total loss. <laughs> I thought we could run those guys over. I guess we can't. Where in the heck are the sheep? Here, sheepy, 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 sheepy. Oh, 
I hear something trotting. Could be a deer, could be a bear. Let's see, I... It hit us, whatever it was. It's a bear. Oh, we could stop and kill the bear. We'll get a little bit ahead of it. He's a persistent little bugger. Whoa, he got me. I didn't know they can get me. Oh, he got me good. Oh, I need arrows. Ho, 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 ho. Uh, inventory. Uh, I guess we're eating one of these. And yeah, we needed it anyways. Whoa. Yeah, I need my bow and arrow. I guess we're getting away from this guy. Oh, you put me in the tree. Oh, uh, we're getting away from you, buddy. You're just too mean. Okay, I had to do that flip thing to the truck. Okay, uh, we're not killing the bear. Uh, the bear is messing us up pretty good. Oh, man, stop pushing my truck, bear. We'll leave you alone. Deer, get out of the way. Okay. I don't want to waste all my MREs because the bear hit keeps hitting us. Okay, bear. You're left all to your devices now. Okay, uh, I guess I should have brought the ball. Yeah, actually, you know what? I could have just jumped down and fought him that way. Oh, wow. We're next to uh, the uh, outpost. Well, this has been a fun adventure. Oh, I wanted to go the other way. Because I figure what we'll do is try up here next. Wait a minute, we are going that way, aren't we? Let's see. Yeah, we are. We're going that way. Yeah, put a little speed on. Oh, what hit me? Something over there just hit us. I didn't see it. Did you guys see it? Yeah, I figured we'll check out in here, see if we can find some sheep. Oh, I need that right there. Well, at least they did fix the one thing. The bear can't hit me inside this. Because the bear was hitting us in the cab before. And they've now fixed it where the bear can't hit you inside here. Well, this is a nice, cool, rough area. Here, sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Okay, we know the foxes are out, the raccoons are out, the chickens are out, 
The bears are out. Where's the sheep? All right, what road is that? That's the road we want. Oh, there's more breakfast. No way. Come on, dude. I need some breakfast. You know, you guys need to uh, just chill. We needed two boxes back here, by the way. Take a med kit. Hey, you know, if I had a bow with me, You'd be dead. You know what? He is dead. We can do our backup fight. We've killed those bears before. Told ya. Told ya. Big old bad bear, huh? You ain't so tough. You ain't so tough. See? We ain't going home empty-handed. <laughs> yeah, you ain't so tough. See? See? Oh, man, <laughs> you, I guess you are. All that because I wanted the cucumber. Uh, I'm going to eat that cucumber right now. It'll give us a little bit of boost instead of eating an MRE or anything else. Okay, that's not a sheep, so we're still looking. And now I know there's a big rock in front of me. Let's go over this hill. What could be the worst thing happen? What is there, no sheep in this game? It's just all bears? Really? Come on, one more. There you go. There's your expert driving for you. There's some corn. <laughs> okay, I don't see nobody. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. It's an ankle biter. That's those little foxes. Can I reach out from here? Yes, I can. All right, they got foxes out. Come on, you guys. Uh, I can enjoy my... Yep, he's got to be right underneath the truck. Oh, there he is. You see him? Right there. Little fox. Bye-bye, fox. We don't want you. We're looking for sheep. This is a sheep hunt. There's got to be sheep around here somewhere. Uh-oh, are we going backwards? Yeah, we sure are. Hey, 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 tree, I was driving here.
Are we in the zone? Oh, we're coming into the zone. Okay. All right. Right or left? I don't think it makes a difference. We'll go to the right. Yeah, I know. I've seen the pumpkin. Got to get my health up a little bit more. Oh, eat it before I go in there. These sheep must be extremely rare in this game. I'm not stopping for that pumpkin. You know how often we'd have to stop. And there's water here. This this would be, actually be a cool site here, too. Because we'd have water. There's no fish, but we'd have water. The area we're at is the only area that has fish. I steered right into that tree. I can't believe that. You know, the bad thing is, is I've heard them while we were driving. I don't understand this. Maybe they only come out a certain time of year. All right, I guess we'll take the long way home. We'll drive around. Hopefully see one. This must be the rainy season or something because uh seems like that's what we're getting. Uh, another town. We've already been through all these towns. Oh, it's a dead end. Yeah, we got to turn around. And we're going to fuel up this truck pretty soon. Because she's going to be done out of fuel pretty soon. Yeah, curiosity. It is 7 o'clock at night. Boy, what a waste of day. Let's get over here and then fuel it up. Oh! Hey, cap it on four wheels, or six wheels. Let's get some fuel in you. Oh. Oh, come on. Give me the fuel can. 
Well, I did say she was six-wheel drive, didn't I? <laughs> I wish it had an indication here on when she needed fuel. Okay. Now nah, she's all fueled up. And as you can see, our fuel gauge, the, the highest, tallest gauge there, it's full. Oh, I don't even know where we're at on the map. Uh, where are we at? Oh, we're going that way. All right. Uh, so the next turn, we make a left. Maybe we'll find Billy on the way home. Or not Billy. A sheep. We will continue looking. We got to finish that room. Usually you'll hear them. Even over the noise of the truck engine. And over the noise of me talking. They really did an awesome job with the graphics on this. I mean, it's almost like driving through the countryside. Make a right at the ne or left at the next turn. Technically, that should have killed him. It did. Told you we're not going empty-handed. <laughs> Now watch me find a sheep on the way home. Oh, the bad thing is I got I still gotta get out and open the gate.
Uh-oh. I think I'm being chased by a bear. Put a little speed on here. Should be coming up any second now. Where did I pass it? Nope. Nope. That bear's still behind me, too. That bear is persistent. He probably seen his brother in the back of the truck and went, Hey, man, you just killed my brother. Stay there. Not easy to do. <laughs> I'll close that gate in a second. <laughs> I ain't stopping till we get up here. Wow, is that really well lit at night? I'll turn this thing around in a minute. Well, at least I know the cart stops us from uh, going anywhere. Oh, don't go down there without this on. In case that bear did follow us all the way here. Those gates do not close fast enough. <laughs> Okay, we didn't get our sheep. We'll go out again on the next episode. I'm going to have to look it up. I don't know if there's a way to look it up, though. Um, whether the sheep are out on different seasons. I don't know if they come out at different seasons. Because I want to get that wool. So we can, uh, oops, not what I wanted. So we can finish up that room. Come on, come on, grab him. There you go. Bear take nappy on there. All righty. Oh, and I hear some chickens. What are we stuck on? Uh, I don't know. Park you right there. You're good enough. Uh, do we go for the chicken first? Yeah, we can go for the chicken. We got energy. We got a little bit of energy, and I'm not worried about no stinking bears. Ooh, chicken, chicken, chicken! Come on, hit him, hit him! Yeah, we got him. We got him. Oh, reminds me, we got eggs put away. Was it here? Yes, it is. Oh, look at all those eggs! Beautiful. Whoops, put them, in, put them in the right spot. So we got enough for four now, four more MREs. I love MREs because they no, do not have an expiration. Oh, look at that. That melon's just sitting there going, eat me. And that's exactly what, oh uh, no, we'll save that melon. Put that melon in the fridge too. Well, might as well start utilizing the fridges right now since they're really underutilized right now put that melon down there we got a whole bunch of them upstairs too let's get that deer over here come here deer we got to check that uh our fuel to see if our fuel got was finished and we'll just set you in here this should be called the slaughterhouse because that's what it is. I think next, if we, well, actually the outpost has one of these tables. But I think next time, because I think that's only 10 iron ingots. Let's see. For making one of these um, placeables food. Yeah, 10 iron ingots. We'll bring the iron ingots with us. 
No, because if we... Well, yeah, we'll bring the iron ingots with us. If we come across a bunch of them, then we'll make one to slaughter them up. No, because we'd need the this table, too, then. To, no, nah, because it, it, we'd still have to have some way to preserve them. No, we'd just bring them back as is. So we'll only have to bring two. Close that door. No Vamby or yeah, no Vamby sneaking up on me. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We did not find what we were looking for, but we had a good adventure. You guys got to see the uh, little bit of the map that most people don't see. Not even me. I've never been that far. I've never really been to the coast, and it gave me an idea. So when we finally do, which I hate to say, when we finally do end this episode or this series, when we do our next series and we make our new base, because I want to make the base in like one of these biomes because I've never done that before. I've always made my base near the fish, but before all the lakes had fish. So we'll find one of these biomes that have a water source because we need water. And we'll get it near the ocean. So come wintertime, what we'll do is when the lakes are froze, we'll put a bunch of foundations out there. And we'll build a water base. I think that would be so cool. Probably more over here. Here or here. Here would be more unlikely because there's a town here, there's a town here, and then the other towns are here. Because this way we'll, we'll be close to the towns, because when we restart, we're going to need to get to those towns to get our technologies. Because, yeah, of course you need your technologies for all your good stuff, because, oops. Oops, can't get out of that until you get out of that. Um, we have all of our tech right now. Um, how do you see tech? Uh, I can't remember how you see tech. Well, this is all of our tech that we've earned. And let's see. No, oh, tech is here. This is all the tech that you have to find. And it's in all the towns. You start off with none of this. And each town has two techs in it. So we definitely need to be close to as many towns as possible. And if we do make a water base, and this town isn't bad because we have cobalt here, and I think the mine over here was copper. So we'd have cobalt, copper, and aluminum was over here. And I want to say there was aluminum over here too. And the mine that was over here. So either way, we, uh, we're going to end this episode here. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And as always, enjoy whatever game you play. And I will see you guys on the next adventure of The Infected. Till then, this is GMO signing out. And bye-bye for now.